topic is the instruction cycle right uh, before starting the instruction cycle uh, we should know about the instruction uh, uh, or we uh, i have already told about in the previous class about the instruction what is an instruction instruction means when we are giving a command to a computer and that command is followed by the computer that is called an instruction suppose when i uh, giving a command through a keyboard or uh, when i press a key or uh, or when i click through a mouse so that command goes into the computer that is done by the instruction clear so here we will discuss how the instruction work how the instruction cycle work in which phases it goes so it goes into the four phases that is called fetch phase decode phase decision phase and the execute phase means when we giving the command to the computer how the instruction executed right that is the working of the instruction cycle this is very very most important topic instruction cycle before because it mostly comes in the exams right so before starting uh, these phases i will discuss about what is fetch phase decode phase decision phase and the execute phase fetch phase means we are fetching the instruction suppose when an instruction is uh, uh, suppose when an instruction is uh, uh, goes on and that instruction goes from one register to another second to third so second register fetch the instruction from first or third register fetching the instruction from second that is called a fetch phase right we will discuss how fetch phase is work so after fetch we will discuss about the decode phase decode phase uh, means uh, when the instruction fetch from the particular register so how that instruction is decoded i have already told about the in the previous uh, class about uh, different types of uh, uh, instructions like memory reference or uh, register reference and how these are decoded suppose decode phase i am talking about suppose this is an instruction by default the size of an instruction is of 16 bit so 0 to 12 0 to 11 12 13 14 and 15 here 0 to 11 it store the address of an instruction 12 13 14 it store the op code and at 15 the value of i that is called the decode phase it decode the instruction it divide the instruction into three parts the first is called the address part it store in the 12 bits then op code op code can store it can be positive negative and i i means it is the direct or indirect address that is the value of i clear so the next is decision phase in decision phase we have to take a decision which type of instruction is this whether it is related to memory it is related to register or it is related to input output clear and after taking decision we have to execute the instruction so we will discuss all the four phases one by one right so let's start from here start sc is 0 at the time t0 sc means that is called the sequence counter means what it says uh, sequence counter means when suppose this is a cycle this is a cycle clear so here the value is 0 to 1 0 to 1 0 to 1 so when an instruction is goes on into a computer so at the start value here at the starting the value of sequence counter is 0 right so here sequence counter is 0 after sequence counter is 0 now the instruction is ready to execute so here at the time t1 and t2 we are doing the fetch phase clear what do we know fetch phase we are fetching the instruction here pc to ar what do you know pc pc is program counter register ar means address register these registers we have already discussed i will give a brief about that program counter register is used to read an instruction and then it is incremented and ready for the next instruction to to be read about that address register hold the address of that instruction so here what it does in fetch phase pro the instruction goes from the program counter to the address register means 
the first is uh, we are giving a command to a computer it goes into the program counter program counter is ready to read the instruction the instruction is read by the program counter after that the uh, command goes into the address register right and in at the time t0 in the fetch phase the memory address of address register goes into the instruction register now the program counter is free now for the first register uh, first instruction now program counter is incremented incremented means the program counter is ready for the next instruction clear so that's the fetch phase clear after fetching there comes the decode phase decode phase means now we have to decode we have to divide that instruction into three parts like this whether it is a address related to operand or related to i direct or indirect means here uh, suppose I am talking about instruction register. Suppose this is uh, an instruction register. Clear? So, in, uh, when the value of instruction register is 0 to 1, it store what? The address. It store the address from 0 to 11 bit. Clear? Now, 12, 13, 14, it store the opcode. That is, at the value of 12, 13, 14, it store the opcode. Opcode means it store the uh, different types of calculations, uh, like uh, uh, different type of operand, like plus, minus, multiplication, borrow, carry, complement, and so on. So, take it. And at the 15th bit here, it store the value of i. i can be direct or indirect. Clear? Eh? So, in the decode phase, it decoded the instruction into three parts. Clear? I'm um, uh, repeating again at 0 to 11. It stored the address 12, 13, 14. It stored the opcode and the 15 bit, the value of i. Now here come into the third phase that is called decision phase. In decision phase we have to decide whether the instruction is direct, indirect or resistor reference. Right? Uh, in the previous class I, have heard, I uh, already told about what is uh, how to differentiate between these three memory, resistor and input output. Clear? Now here we have to check the value of D7 in the decision phase. What is D7? Okay, I will revise again. Suppose uh, there are three types of instruction. First is memory reference, second is resistor reference, and third is input output reference. Clear? In memory reference instruction, in register reference and in input output reference in memory reference instructions the value of i is 0 and in register reference the value of i is 1 uh, uh, sorry i is 0 and input output value is 1 here 1 1 1 1 1 1 and 0 0 0 what is this uh, in the previous class, I, will, uh, uh, I have already discussed in detail about this. What is this? The value of opcode in memory reference instruction varies from 000 to 110. But in register and input output, the value of opcode is 1112111. So here, 000010111. Just a minute. 0, 1, 1, 1, double 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. So here that is D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, and D7. Now, these are the decoder values. Clear? From 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 0. These are fixed value for memory reference. Here, these are fixed value for memory reference. Clear? But resistor and input output have the fixed value 111. So we have to decide at D7 whether these are memory reference, uh, whether these are resistor reference instruction or input output reference instructions. So we have to check the value of D7. 
right so this is a decision symbol means it can have value true or it can be value of false when d7 is 1 it means it is true when it is d7 is 0 it means false so first we will cover up this one phase then we will cover up this one phase clear when d7 is 0 it means d7 is false means d7 bits are not 1 1 1 clear when these are not 1 1 1 means these are from 0 0 0 to 1 1 0 means these are related to memory right so these are related to memory reference so we have to execute memory reference instruction by the execution phase so but before executing these uh, memory reference instruction we have to check in memory reference whether it is a direct address or whether it is a indirect address means we have to check the value of i uh, now what is the how we will check the value of i whether it is when the value of i is 1 it is indirect address and when the value of i is 0 it is indirect address but you should know about how to differentiate between these what is direct or indirect suppose i am giving an example this is memory clear and here i is 0 plus 257 what is this uh, 257 is that is the address of an instruction plus is the opcode and 0 means that is the direct address means what we are saying here the instruction uh, which is stored at location 257 we have we can find directly the value of an operand so we go suppose this is the 257 location when we go to the 257 location we found directly the operand here clear that is called direct address clear and what is indirect in indirect suppose i say the address is 352 and when we goes at the 352 location it store another location suppose 1027 and when we goes at 102 location it store the value of an operand that is indirect now here what is the difference between direct address and indirect address uh, you can see there are two diagrams indirect address at a particular address we directly found the address of an operand that is called direct in indirect at a particular address when we go to that address the another address is found we do not find the directly operand here so we found the another address so we have to go another 10257 location and at that address the operand is found that is called indirect address so that is the difference between direct and indirect so come here again when the value of i is zero it do nothing the operand is directly found we have to do nothing we have to only execute the memory reference instruction which is done by the execution phase but when the value of i is one it means the address contain another address so it sh shows the memory address contain another address clear and after finding the operand we have to execute the memory reference instruction and that is done so itna cover we have done we have already discussed this now cover, come to the this part when the value of d7 is 1 means demand 111 is 1 means is, it is true means it is register reference or input output reference now we have to differentiate as i have already told when the value of d7 is 111 and the value of i is 0 that is register reference so when i is 0 we have to execute register reference by the execution phase and when the i uh, d7 is 111 and the i is 1 we have to execute input output reference so in the execution phase we execute input output register and memory reference instruction depending on the type of the instruction so after execution the operation is complete and the process again goes ready for the next instruction so these are the four phases about the next instruction which is first is fetch then decode then decision and after the execution so that's all about the instruction cycle
I hope uh, from this diagram everything is uh, to be clear about the instruction cycle. Thank you.